Hey crew, Arturo Spraycaso here. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a full frontal face mask. Yep. Uh, maybe not as cool as this one, but pretty dang close. Maybe even cooler, who knows? Maybe you guys will like that one better. So, as you guys know, there's a shortage of masks out there. So, I actually went on Amazon and I saw what I could find. And I found some materials that I think uh, if you guys can still find out there. So, what you're gonna need is some cloth. Now these you can find at any hardware store, any any store that has these little clean cloths. This is 100% cotton, really thick material. You can fold it and you can see that you can create a mask with these. In fact, I think I've seen some people making masks with these guys. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is some rubber bands. So, so far with me, cloth, rubber bands, and the secret recipe. It's a snorkeling mask. Yep, you heard me right. And obviously snorkeling masks, you can still find an Amazon because they're not considered safety masks. So what I did is I went ahead, got us some masks here. I don't have a screwdriver with me. What kind of engineer would I be if I did? But I do have a key. So the cool thing about these masks is that they're very easy to take apart. Now I know what you're thinking. You could probably even put the cloth around here tying it up but the problem with this is you're gonna look a, you're gonna you're gonna turn some heads guys <laughs> it's, it's gonna look a little funky if you don't mind hey this is the best way to do it what I'm thinking about doing is you take this off right here this comes right off now like your respirators notice this they they're made to create a nice seal around your face so like any safety mask, you definitely need to have uh, a shaven face in order for this to work uh, at its maximum performance. So now then, now that we have this mask and we have the intake taken out, we still have a nice little um, area here where we can put our filter. So what you can do is cut a piece of that cloth, fold it, you can fold it twice, put it down, yeah. Put your rubber band around it a couple of times. Come on, man. Yeah. See where I'm getting at. Okay. So I did say some duct tape, and the duct tape you can wrap it around there a couple of times. Let me show you one that I did earlier. So I had already done one. And this one, I guys, I completely nerded out. I took one of the old filters that I had uh, from my, my uh, heavy duty spray paint mask here, cut a piece of it off. I put it right in between the cloth and uh, the mask. And so this one is legitimately filtered. Now, if you don't have one of those filters, that's fine. This will work. You know, the purpose is to help prevent the, the spread of the, the virus. So with that said, guys, Here's what the mask looks like. I'll do a little short tutorial with one of them on so you can see that they work perfectly fine. If I pass out, then don't try it at home. <laughs> Seriously, Dad, I'll pass out. But, all right, guys. Hopefully, you guys can find some of these. You guys can still definitely find some of these on Amazon. I, I found a bunch of them, so find some of these. Find you some duct tape, some material here that you can put a nice little filter on this and try these on. All right, guys, I'm here in my garage. Uh, just show you how to make the mask, so now I'm gonna put it on. Let's see, now remember, it's very important that when you do this, you don't have a beard. Do as I say, not as I do. Ah, take it off. So I used to be a former firefighter, and that was one of the requirements. That's why you don't see firefighters with, uh, with a beard. All right, let's do this. Now another thing guys, is these masks have these little hooks here. It's very important when you put them on, you snap them all tight. So, may not be able to hear me here in a little bit, but... I like it. Works well. Alright guys, until next time. Keep those cans shaking.